What is up guys, DZ Fear, and as I've mentioned on the channel before and many other people have made videos about, Yu-Gi-Oh! Sealed product right now is in a very weird spot as far as actual stores go. Things like Target and Walmart and Meyer, it can be pretty hard to find Yu-Gi-Oh! product at those stores. Some of them don't carry Yu-Gi-Oh! cards at all anymore, and some of them do carry them, but they tend to get completely bought out immediately. So so it can be pretty difficult finding sealed product. About a week ago, I saw that House of Champs had mentioned that some Walmarts were restocking Kaiba collection, and that was one of my favorite products from a few years ago. I opened a lot of it on my channel, as some of you probably remember, and I really wanted to go check it out and see if they had it at a local Walmart near me. Turns out they did not. They did have a lot of Ancient Guardians, though. I noticed that the Meyer that I go to also had Ancient Guardians, but I personally wasn't super interested in picking up those packs. I don't think there's a lot of value in them outside of the collector's rares. However, one thing I was surprised about is that they actually did have these three products, these blister packs, and uh, these things are not the best value, I'll be honest. They have one old school pack, two rares, and eight commons for like eight bucks. Not the best deal, but uh, honestly, even these uh, blister packs I see going on Facebook Marketplace for at least double their original price, which is pretty crazy. People really want to buy and resell Yu-Gi-Oh! product right now. I don't know about you guys, but if I go on my Facebook marketplace and type in Yu-Gi-Oh, it's everyone trying to flip product for like double or triple the retail value, which is really sad. But I found these and I was like, you know what? I really don't know the last time I saw this product at a Walmart or a Meyer or a Target. I might as well buy them because who knows, maybe we'll pull something cool. But uh, let me know in the comments how you guys are doing at your stores like Walmart and Target and Meyer as far as Yu-Gi-Oh product is concerned. It seems like a lot of people are still not able to buy anything. Uh, my locals has been pretty sold out of stuff, but they do have some of the more recent sets, which is nice, but as far as the uh, regular like stores, the grocery stores go, Yu-Gi-Oh! product is very difficult to find. Let's take a look at what rares we pull, by the way, because sometimes they give you some pretty crappy ones, but it'd be cool to pull a hollow. Don't think that'll happen. Let's take a look, though. Okay, well, it's a hollow, but it's a structure deck hollow. Ram Clouder. Element Saber Nalu, Element Saber, that brings you back. Dark Armed Dragon as a common, that's a pretty cool card. Fairy Tail Sleeper, Perform Ancient Trick Clown, all these cards are damaged by the way. Did I do that? I don't think so, maybe I did. Uh, Armageddon Knight, Felice, Light Sworn Archer. These are from the Shadal Structure Deck, right? S D S H. I think that's the Structure Deck Shadal. That would make sense. I think that's what all these commons are. Electromagnetic Turtle, Mathematician, and Curry Bandit. Not a bad set of commons there. Obviously, Structure Deck Shadal Showdown is a very good product. So those were actually some of the best commons I've ever seen in one of these uh, little packs or whatever. Okay, for our Metal Raiders pack here, let's take a look. Here we go. Can we pull a hollow? We have Dream Clown. Dream Clown is pretty cool. Black Land Fire Dragon. Empress Judge. Harpy Lady. Mask of Darkness for our rare there. That's kind of interesting. Uh, this spider thing that I talked about in a video a while back. Niwatori, Niwatori, I don't know how to pronounce that, not like I ever do, but that is a pretty funny old school uh, normal monster there. Doma, the Angel of Silence, oh man, this card brings me back, I remember playing this card in a lot of decks, love that artwork. A lot of the older cards, their artwork is just so timeless, they look like monsters, you know, I know it's kind of cliche to say, but I think it's true, a lot of the older cards, you know, they didn't care so much about making things like super clean and making so many anime archetypes and stuff like that, it's all just monsters it's pretty interesting but uh, I know I probably sound like a Yu-Gi-Oh boomer when I say that I don't mind the newer artworks I think a lot of the newer cards do look pretty good but something about these original like old school cards really just uh, has remained so cool looking throughout the years anyway we have battle mania for our super rare kind of an older super there that is the uh, crossroads of chaos print which is pretty surprising dark smog I remember when this card was a super hyped up secret rare does anyone else remember that uh, it was pretty crazy times for Yu-Gi-Oh, I guess. Those are actually not the worst supers I've ever seen. Man Eater Bug, nice. Speed Duel card, all speed duels in this set. Pinch Hopper, Insect Princess, Goki Pond, B-List Soldier, B-Tron, a lot of Bs, 
laser cannon armor and forest so that one is not as impressive it is a bunch of speed duel cards i would much rather have should all showdown cards if i'm being honest okay metal raiders pack number two electric lizard the bistro butcher musician king destroy your golem and mask of darkness again you have got to be kidding me how oh my gosh whatever mask of darkness crawling dragon the immortal of thunder Ocubeam, and cybersaurus okay that card is sick i remember using cybersaurus with instant fusion back in karakuris many years ago and uh, yeah pretty cool card there might even start seeing play again with that new instant fusion card that only summons non-effect monsters who knows but that card is pretty good you could play that in a variety of decks if you really wanted to not saying you uh, will but it's an option i guess ghost meets girl a shiranui's story i remember pulling like a hundred of these not really but a lot of these out of my savage strike case instead of uh, the other better ultra rares this card was like the opposite of short printed it was over printed we have uh, an ice mayakashi monster for our two supers honestly not a bad set of uh, supers that we pulled out of these packs limit code trickstar bloom element saber whatever concentrating current uh that's okay that's i was like i know i don't know how to pronounce cards but i'm pretty sure that is not english and it is a french card that is kind of crazy i don't know what card that is a bunch of french cards here from uh these two are from rising rampage right yeah two rising rampage french cards randomly the phantom knights of shadow veil vale and crystal conclave kind of a random set of commons there compared to the other two which were very clearly taken from a uh, structure deck or starter deck of some kind our last pack in today's video is Pharaoh Servant. How cool would it be to pull a Jinzo? You know, we just talked about that card. It'd be pretty crazy. I don't think it's going to happen, though. We have Insect Imitation, kind of a fun tech card in Insectors a while back, back when they had some of their cards hit and people were trying to play cards that could get to Dragonfly or Centipede. Invitation to a Dark Sleep, Steel Ogre Grotto number two, Harpy's Brother, now known as, uh, I don't remember, Sky Scout? Is it Sky Scout, I think? We have Monster Recovery. Have I talked about this card in the Weird Card Effect series? I don't know. This card's uh, original text is a complete mess. Kind of a uh, interesting card there. Wing Weaver, Solomon's Law Book, pretty useless card. Deep Sea Warrior, and uh, this card that I can't pronounce that looks kind of crazy. Like, look at this card. You don't see cards like this anymore. They're way too normal looking. This card is crazy looking. But uh, yeah, that is all for today's opening video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We pulled some old school cards. Unfortunately, no holographic cards out of the old school packs. I will say, though, I was pleasantly surprised that we pulled six hollows out of the uh, two rare that they mentioned here usually if they are giving you holographic cards they will like mention it in the little uh, blurb here but I'm very surprised that it only said rare and we actually got all holographic cards that is pretty surprising and if you guys have opened those types of packs you'll probably know what I'm talking about anyway I will see you guys later thank you so much for watching today's video goodbye